What's up everybody, peace could be there for you guys, welcome back to the Town Hall 13 where we are in CWL Day 2. So, we are versus father and mother and just to give you a quick little update on the progress we have. Uh, we have literally all of our art towers done and we're working now, hopefully be able to when we get more builders. We'll be able to work on the cannons next and I'll probably do all the traps last. We'll see. We'll see depending on, on what I think should be do when I get a lot of builders. But that's just the progress that we have currently on our um, defenses. But let's get into this seed build hit. We are hitting number 17. Um, as well as 24 to 31. So hopefully we can get this triple. So this is the base that I'll be hitting. And the army that I'm decided to use on this base is going to be the Blizzard Hydra. So I'm mainly just going to be using straight Dragon Raiders. Um, I had different plans for this base. I wanted to use like a Queen Charge Log, log Launcher Lalo, uh, where I would Queen Charge over here, double wall break with the Log Launcher. To go to the Town Hall in the middle, uh, probably take all the Eagle, take all these Inferno Towers, and then Lalo through the Town Hall. That was my first plan. Um, and then my next plan was just to use like a Zap Lalo, where I would use the um, Lightning Spells in here. I wanted to use like a kill squad where I would use the same army that I used the first war. War and walk over here to that multi and then use the log launcher or war wrecker in. War wrecker would probably work better. War break over here for the king and the witches and then work my way in. But I think I'm going to go with the Lalo on this one. I decided, I'm sorry, with the dragon raiders on this one. I think it would be better to use it um, for this base. Um, the sweeper is placed in not a bad position. So that's why I'm going to be using the hound over here and the blimp down behind. I want to get get into this compartment, the town hall compartment, so be able to get the town hall, take the CC troops, so you can draw them, take the scatter, take the eagle, just try to get as much value in here as possible. Um, if I don't get the town hall, it's okay. I'll use the wall breaker over here. Ice column, king, queen, and I'll use one of the headhunters as well to take the enemy king. And wherever the king and queen go, if they come down, it'll be not bad. If they go up, it'll be better. We'll get the town hall that way. And then I'll run my Dragon Raiders down here. Or if we get the Town Hall and the heroes come down, I'll run the Dragon Raiders down here as well. Or up here. It really depends on the value. It really depends on what value we do get from our um, Blizzard. That is what I'm going to be basing the entire attack on. Whatever value we get with the Blizzard, we, we'll send our um, Dragon Raiders um, someplace completely different. Or our first plan, which is down here. But with that said and done, you guys see the base, see the army, like we always want to do. Let's crush it. Okay, so the hound, the super was in the bad spot, so that's why I'm going to be going over here. I'm going to draw in the hound now, and I need to change. Why do I have? <laughs> I'm not supposed to have a log launcher. Uh, log launcher. That was a mistake. So glad I had a blimp. <laughs> glad I had a blimp where when it's supposed to. So now we're going to go into here, and there you go. So you can see this thing got these head hunt the what's it called stinky goblin still alive so that's like 90 percent time why i always have a sneaky goblin in my cc like when i'm using a blizzard so that's like the big thing why i use why i have that there you go so we got a queen we got an eagle which is perfect so now we're gonna still run our heroes over here so that's like a big reason why i always have a sneaky goblin like at least one or two so you can see we just literally took the Town Hall just from the having seen Goblin, which is always what I always like to do. Um, so we end up on a single and an eagle, which we literally have good padding. We have really good padding for our Dragon Raider. So I just want to get the King and Queen to take a little bit more. Drop a Baby Dragon there, and I drop a Baby Dragon right here. Um, King and Queen are going to work at top, which is not bad, and I'll start my Dragon Raiders down here. I think that is a good idea. And I'll send the RC down with them as well. So I'll put the game's ability there. Um, I'll let the RC work with them. I'm going to drop my first freeze there on top of the single and the eagle. I'll drop the first raid spell for them. First and only raid spell for them. And then I'll put the grammar's ability when the headhunters step up. If the headhunters want to step up. There you go. So the headhunters can actually take out the RC. Um, we still have a freeze for them. I'll use the freeze on that multi, so it saves my um, queen, and then I'll freeze the wizard tower. But this is triple, so you can see the the plan went perfectly. It went perfectly. We ended up because of reason. We used a lot if we wanted to, but I think Dragon Raiders did 
do perfectly on on this bit so that's like the pathing alone for the dragon riders is good defensive pathing so that's why they decided to use the dragon riders and we crushed this base we crushed that base i think that was a really really good plan and was executed well i want to say executed well um but that is it we ended up getting our 13v13 triple it's always good we still have a couple of mismatches as well so we got like they have a ton of 14s so if our 13s can to start a lot of though a lot of them i think we can actually um win this war and it's 37 to 31 right now so we pulled out triple which is always good and we are on pace to trying to get to the number one clan but they're probably be promoted um as well but that's all for me hope you guys did enjoy it and i will see you guys next time